Hey there, it's Kevin Kennedy, and welcome to episode number six of Fusion Fridays. By the end of this video, you'll know how to use the interference command to check where components and bodies interfere with one another. I'll go ahead and select the interference command from the inspect dropdown menu. If we look at the interference dialog box, you'll see that the first thing that we need to do is select at least two bodies or components, and you can select more than two if you need to. Then all you have to do is select compute, and you'll see that Fusion 360 automatically adds transparency to the two components, and it marks the section in red where the components interfere with one another. Now you'll also notice that the interference results dialog box opened up. Now this box shows the volume where the components overlap and it lists the components that are involved in the interference. And if I toggle the show all interference selection, then I can toggle the red highlighted section on and off. Now obviously in this example, we just have one use case but this can be helpful if you have many different components or bodies that interfere with each other in a large assembly file. So in summary, this interference tool is a great way to check the components or bodies, especially in larger assemblies, to ensure that nothing unintentionally interferes with other components. Now, the interference command can also be super helpful in the CAM workspace to make sure that the item you're milling doesn't interfere with the machine or other objects. Another thing that you can do with the interfere command is actually subtract the interference from the model. However, this doesn't work in parametric modeling. So you'll first have to right click on the master component and you'll have to select turn off or do not capture design history. Then if I select the interference command once again, you'll see that now the dialog box has the remove volume option. And if I leave that selected and click OK, now if I select the sphere and hit the keyboard shortcut letter V to hide it, you'll see that it actually removed this inner volume from the cube component. So this works similar to the combine command with the exception that you get that nice volume preview before you go ahead and do it. Now the last thing I'm going to show you in this video is what the include coincident faces selection does. For this part of the demo, I'm going to use the slot head screwdriver from day number 14. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. If I select interference from the inspect dropdown menu once again, and then select the handle and the shank of the screwdriver and click compute, you'll see that it says no interferences detected. And this is because the handle has a hole in it, so they don't actually interfere with one another. They just touch around the edges. And this is where the coincident faces selection comes into play. If I turn this on by selecting the checkbox and click compute once again, You'll see that this now highlights the area where the shank and the handle have coincident or touching faces. And because the two components don't actually interfere with each other, it will not populate this volume field. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all about this tutorial or Fusion 360 questions in general, then be sure to comment them below. Hit that thumbs up icon if you learned something in this video and click subscribe followed by that little bell icon to be notified of more Fusion 360 tutorials.